from I Expect the Comics, and I'm back. This time with a CGC unboxing from Terrificon back in the summer of 2022. Interested in seeing what's inside this package? Stay tuned for that intro. Alright guys, so welcome back. This is Dave from Mark Spectre Comics. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. One of my goals for 2023 is to make more content in a timely fashion. Um, so, here we are. I got a CGC unboxing. This will be my uh, first uh, submission back from 2023. I plan on submitting more books uh in 2023 so uh, I'm excited to open up my first package um, this came from my submission at Terrificon back in when was it in July I don't remember late July um, so a little backstory on that uh, really fun day I went on a Saturday which I don't usually go to conventions on Saturdays but I wanted to meet up with a lot of the community and ended up meeting with a ton of the community members had a blast and a little around lunchtime I had a about an hour to sneak away and submit some books um, CGC was there but I didn't have time to go out and wait in line to meet the artists or the writers and uh, get the books and then fill out the paperwork and so forth but captured collect uh, collectibles were there so I've worked with them in the past great guys um, they do all the facilitation for me, and I just pay them. Um, I had, I think, eight books. It's an eight-book submission. Um, I do have my uh, sheet here from uh, Terrificon. And one, two, three, four, five, six books. Sorry, six books. Um, and they were all signed, so I did pay a hefty price, but um, these are cool books. And I believe one, two, three of them were dual signed. So uh, my one, um, I was a little disappointed. Jim Starlin was supposed to be there. And he was going to be my last signature to complete my Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, number one, to make it triple signed. I have it already signed. And you'll see it in the unboxing. It's in here. Uh, but he ended up canceling. So um, he ended up canceling. I think he was sick last second, but I talked to the guys that captured collectibles and they said that he's going to be at, uh, I think Dragon Con, uh, some, some upcoming, um, convention in, in October. And that's why I'm getting these books back in so late, you know, cause they had to go to different conventions, submit them and so forth. Um, so I'm hoping it's in here. Uh, I, I you know, because, uh, that was the uh, last book to finish off that grading. So uh, let's open up the package because that's what you guys are here for. Hope you guys don't mind the beats. I am also, you know me, I like to drink the craft beer. I got, uh, what do I got today? What am I drinking? Mocha Joe's. This has it's a really cool, like, uh, like crime, crime scene, like you know, vibes to it. You know, with the uh, mobster there, but he's drinking a uh, coffee. <laughs> Mocha Joe's specialty coffee roasters, espresso roast porter, porter brewed with coffee, and um, Howler Brewery out of Williamsburg, Massachusetts. There you go. So, uh, cheers to that. Definitely got that good coffee, coffee vibes to it. It's really good. All right, let's open up this package because uh, I'm excited to see what's inside. Looks like it's packaged really well from my buddies at Captured Collectibles. All right, there we go. There you go. Uh, all right. What we got here? All right. 
So it looks like they put these all individually in uh, these U.S. Postal Service envelopes. So uh, it'll make it a fun little mystery. But it uh, looks like there is one, two, three, uh-oh, we only got four slabs. So uh, I'm guessing either the, um, I'm guessing the two Jim Starlin books did not make it here, which is a bit, a bit disappointing, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, let's open these up because uh, that was the, um, that was the one that came in the uh, later, the uh, later show because he wasn't able to make Terrificon. So I'm hoping that's the case because that would make sense. All right. So that just means that there's going to be another CGC unboxing coming in at a later time. There we go. All right. All right. Nope, actually, here it is right now. Okay, so the book did come in. All right. <laughs> um, so, here we go. This was one of the books I was um, looking to get. Uh, signed by Jim Starlin. So, uh, as you can see, it says signed by Jim Starlin. And they notated on their newsstand edition, which is something new that they implemented in uh, late 2022. So, um, let's see what we got. 6-5. All right. Um, trying to remember. This was, I think when I bought it, he had, I think, advertised it as a VF minus, <laughs> which is a little lower than that, as you can see in the 6.5. Um, off white to white pages, which is great. And uh, you got a nice little signature there. But this is a great book. If you're not familiar with this book, DC Comics presents issue number 26. First appearance of the Teen Titans. The, uh, uh, the new Teen Titans, sorry. And you also got the um, first appearance of Raven, Cyborg, and Starfire. Very cool. Um, a little lower grade than, than anticipated, to be honest. But, hey, it is what it is. It's a risk you take. And um, these books were pressed. Just so you know ahead of time. So, here we go. So, I'm a little disappointed on that one because uh, the person I bought it from advertised it right around an 8 hour. So, hey. It's all good. All right, next book. It makes it a little more difficult opening these up when it's in this style, wrapped up individually like that. You know, it is well. It is um. It is packaged well, don't get me wrong. These guys did a great job. It's just a uh, pain in the butt, you know? Alright, good. So this is the other this is the other uh, Jim Starlin book, which I was a little worried about. This was my baby. One of my, one of my uh, favorite books of all time. Uh, one of my favorite reads of all time. And it was only missing the one signature. So uh, let me see where he signed it. Okay, cool. Here we go. So... Boom. Infinity Gauntlet, issue number one. Um, it is a CGC 9.8, the first two times I, I, <laughs> I got this sign. So I'm hoping this book comes back at a 9.8 again. Um, you know, my buddies at Capture Collectibles, they took out the label and they put it in the submission. So I'm hoping it stays the same grade. So uh, it is triple signed. Um, the first time I got this, uh, where is it? Right here. Nope, sorry. At the top, signed by George Perez. The second time I cracked it open was to get it signed by Joe Rubenstein, and he dated it. This was back in 2018. And then last year, signed by Jim Starlin. So, did we get that 9.8? Boom! 
Boom! All right, good, good. I didn't press it um, afterwards, so I was hoping it stayed the same grade. So this is awesome. Um, like I said, one of my favorite books in my personal collection. This book's not going anywhere. This will stay with me. Um, yeah, really pumped that I came back at a 9.8, and it's complete. Signed, triple signed. Um, so really cool, really cool. All right. So those are the two books I was a little worried about because it's, uh, like I said, they were the uh, the signings that, you know, didn't show up to Terpicon for, for uh, Jim Starlin. All right. Last two books. I'm not sure which which ones they are. If it's the, um, if it's the Superhero Secret Wars number one or if it's the... Excuse me, World War Hulk. So we'll see. Maybe it's both uh, Secret Wars books, which would be great because I don't, you know, because those were uh, a dual signed, but at the same time, I got a feeling one of them isn't. So we'll find out. Forgot too. There's also the uh, I forgot about the whole 234. There's also the two, the whole 234. All right. So that's what this is. All right. So this is a cool spec book. Uh, I picked this up. When did I buy this? I bought this book raw a few years ago. I think I paid 20, 25 bucks for it. Um, this is Hulk issue number 234. This is first appearance of Quasar. Has a lot of spec on this book. Um, it is a newsstand, you know. And w what's funny is newsstand, right? They don't notate it on this book, um, right? Look at that. No notation on newsstand, and yet the um, and yet this book has it. So, uh, little, sorry, wow, the glare is awful. So, I'm a little confused on that, um, considering it's from the same submission. And uh, this book came out a year prior to 79, and that's an 80. Anyways, not really complaining on that. It's just kind of weird to see something like that happen. So, I'm hoping this book is honestly, you know, a 9 0 or better, you know. And this book was pressed. It was pressed by my buddy, Justin. Um, all of these books were. All these books were pressed by Justin. And uh, I'll put his information in the description down below, too. So if you do need a presser, check him out. All right, what do we get? Boom. All right, 9.2. Uh, white pages, great. So white pager. And you can see it's dual signed. It is signed by uh, Al Milgram, Uncle Al. He was at the convention, Al Milgram, and um, I feel like Al, Al Milgram always goes to the uh, conventions local to me in, in the Rhode Island, Mass, Connecticut area, but uh, this guy here does not often come here, and this is Jim Shooter. So uh, Jim Shooter there right at the top, um, not really the best signature placement if you ask me right on top of the incredible, uh, but it is what it is. I know he had uh, huge lines when I was there at Terrificon, so there was no way I was going to wait in line for that one. Um, obviously, Jim Shooter is pretty legendary in the Marvel Marvel industry, and I'm really happy that this book came back at a, a 9.2. So this is an Al Milgram cover, and um, Jim Shooter was the um, editor in chief at Marvel at this this time period, so that's why I got assigned by him as well. So really cool. Really cool. Last book, because I want to speed this up for you guys. Alright, so it's either going to be the Secret Wars book, or it's going to be the World War Hulk book. So, I'll let you guys decide, take a few guesses beforehand, and then we'll see what it is. 
got a, my guess it's going to be the World War Hulk book because I'm still missing those last two books. So that's my guess, but hey, maybe it's <laughs> maybe it's the Secret Wars book and then the other book's still waiting to be sent to me. So we'll see. All right. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, it's the World War Hulk book. Okay. Very cool. So, I had this book last year at a, a CGC 9.8. Ended up selling it when um, Scar came out in the last episode of She-Hulk because I knew I was getting this book back a few months later. I don't have much into this book. I think I paid $10 for the book. This is the variant. I think it's the 1 in 10 or 1 in 20. Uh, covered by John Romita Jr. And as you can see there, signed by John Romita Jr. It says JRJR 2022. I'm hoping this is a 9.8. Um, let's see what we got. Boom! All right. Very cool. Very cool. Um, 9.8. White pager says on there, John Romita Jr. and Claus Jansen cover. I should have gotten it signed by Claus Jansen as well. He was at Terrificon, but I was already at this point spending over $700 in grading and signing fees. <laughs> so it was a very expensive submission, and I still have two more books to come back to me. Um, so that's it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. My first uh, CGC unboxing, like from CGC of 2023. If you guys like that, please hit the thumbs up. It helps out with the channel's algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, I want to get to the channel to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Hopefully we can get there sooner than later. And uh, comment down below, which books did you like? Have you met any of these artists or writers before? And uh, yeah, until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.